Okay, so you had a piece of string, you're gonna shred it, and so it'll kind of be like this, but then you're gonna shred it some more so it's like this, but not too much, and you don't wanna mix it with your white so it's this mess. Okay, from there you decide where you want it, then you put a layer of latex on, and then I usually put some along the edges and kind of on it as well. That's disgusting. That's the point. Mm -hmm. No, it's not that. That's, good. that's the point. That, that the juicy stuff. The what? The liquid latex that's smells that's bad. bad. The liquid that's latex smells bad. Yeah. You want some onion? Mm -hmm. Probably don't. You can. You can get somebody. Yeah. I don't care who you do it on. Yeah, that's the Alright. So hey, hey. Yeah, fight back. Some more I'll find fight back. There. I should have heard that I like to do this because it kinda gives it a little bit of a crusty, plus it kinda leaves it on there a little bit. Mm. And it'll probably end up with more on it anyway. Alright. So. Alright, from here, I'm going out wide. See, I'm going out wide. Alright, so this is where I. Are you good? Yeah, mold it down. So this is where I'm going to take some of this. Look. Now this is the, the technique tricky part, okay? So, can you see? Jeremiah, I'm videoing. Shut your hole, please. No, but Okay, shut up and look. All right, see how like, it's kind of got these veiny things? So, I'm gonna put this. Focus. I'm not, I was throwing her. Focus. Miss, go ahead, do it, miss. Okay. You don't go, you don't go away from so me. So you're gonna put this along the edges because I want the veins to come out from it. Does that make sense? Are you gonna take that off when you when you're done? No. You gonna keep that on there? Yep, all day long. Um, again, I'm working in a stupid spot because I can't see. We've all, you well, not all of us, but some of us have done this. Under the chin business can be tricky. So getting it, ugh. Getting it on there. Sometimes I move it around with like the end of my. The end of my. Uh, Finger? No, this thing. <laughs> paintbrush! Good grief, yeah, my paintbrush. Because you want them to get kind of long and skinny. So they look a little bit leanier. Sometimes I cut them. I like kind of when there's holes in them too. Um, somewhere, Zach, you're okay at directions. On the glass shelf, like, you know that giant shelf over there? There's a clear box with like containers in it. There's some like super pointy scissors that you find for me. Because I lost some of my veins that I had a minute ago when I tried to pump this on there under my chin. There we go. But if you can pick them out, it's so hard to see under my chin. This is not the best place to start. Did you find some? Hold on. Press pop. So keep working like that. I'm going to work at the top a little bit where I can friggin' see. So again, kind of hold it and go, okay, which way do I want this to go? And do I want to use the whole thing? Eh. I'm going to kind of stretch it and do some fun stuff to it before I put it on. 
I'm going to get me the spot I can actually see the other side. And I kind of like the idea of it starting here and then coming out. So, I'm going to start here. Get into the hair right here. <laughs> it hurts when you pull this off. I'm just saying. Okay, so I'm gonna try to avoid that as best as possible. So this, do you guys remember this? The when we did the the burn. Can we just do it as you're doing? I, mean, I think we're gonna run out of time. It takes a while to do this one. Cause you remember how long the burn takes? This one takes a smidgen bit longer. I would just do this tomorrow. Because you're going to work your way around it. Oh, look, there's a hair I should go over try to pull it out. Ah! Everything's stuck to me. Um, so do you remember when we did the burn and like you had kind of those little pockets and things? This is similar to that in that you're going to have like these little individual things that you want to accentuate. So I'm going to come back through and I can go in here with some of this off the I can go in here with the end of this and pull things around where I might want them to go a little bit. And then if it gets stuck, I can use the little scissors. And make it do what I want it to do. And make more veins. So the idea is lots of little veins. I don't like this really big long one right here. I'm going to cut it in half. Not that I don't want you to work it because you know I do, but we are videotaping. No, you're just bumping in the back and I'm not watching the demo because you're failing this particular side because you haven't done any of these. Just saying. Just throwing that out there as you continue to thump. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Come on, veins. All right, so you work like most of the way around this like this, right? So you're gonna start with your, your red in and you're gonna continue out. And then do you remember how we did the, um, like where we did some black? Right, and we did some red and we kind of speckled in and we kind of went in with the brush. We're going to kind of do that. Okay, we're going to pause on this. Hopefully, okay. all right. So it's not perfect, it's hard to get under here, but then I kind of put a layer of latex on everything to make sure that it's going to be stuck. Let it dry just a little bit, and then you're going to do sort of like what we did with the bones, and you're going to come back with some red and some black. I like to start with the brush. Oops, that's the wrong brush. My makeup brush. And you're gonna look for those areas that you want to look deep. And you're gonna kinda stab those in there. I 
usually do a little bit on this too, just so it's like in those deeper spots where it's kind of gunky. glasses because I got bifocals so now I'm like trying to look under my face. That's fun. Alright, I've got some dark spots. Now I can come back to some red. You can use your brush. I'm going to go with fingers again. I haven't used this red. Is it good? I haven't used that one either. So far, not impressed. Make my old one better. You don't want like those black things to stay like. I mean, you want them sort of blendy. So I'm kind of rubbing at it a little bit, so that it mixes with the red. I hope. I'm not a fan of this red. It's the Walmart one, but they must have changed it. The old one was the Walmart one, too. This is like, I don't know, oil deep. See it? This does well with a little bit of green or purple as well. Maybe a thinner end of a sponge would work. Maybe a thinner end of a sponge would work. Maybe you can get more ink there. Yeah, that could be. That could be. That would maybe be a good idea. Um, you could use the Q-tips as well. All right, so you could use the Q-tips. You could use what he was saying. is like the pointy end of some of these sponges. Yeah, like the pointy part. So that might work good to get in there. Um, Agreed. Agreed. All right. So, like I said, you could throw in some purple. I don't like to take forever on my demos with you guys because, well, it's just a demo. Uh, there's no paper towels over them, is there? Yeah, no? Nobody? I don't see any. Um, But where it really comes together and looks awesome and good is when you start to add in your... Ooh, thank you. You. Thanks so much. Um, it's where you start to do in your blood. So the purple or the green would be nice to give depth other than just the black. You know what I mean? So it's like more shades of the red. So that's nice as well. Um, put these away. So I guess I'll use them. This usually adds another depth of, like, I tend to cover all of the, the yarn because it's red yarn, right? Too bright. So I tend to cover it and then blotch around. Because if it's a wound, it's going to go other places than just on where you put the wound right so sometimes I'll do like a big drip you know depends on where I'm doing it drips are good because gravity is a thing right
Okay, so you can see the difference between the top half and the bottom half, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, so that's the idea is to just make it look gooey and gross. Got it? Yeah. Questions? Gooey gross. Your vision, whatever you want. Sound good? Okay. So that's what I told people for burns is make it look as gross as possible. Well, yeah. What well, gooey grossness, right? So like, drip, you little booger. Sometimes it's hard to get it to drip. Mm. There you go. stuff so that, that way it's ready for tomorrow and if you don't have that oh God, it's so hard to see back there if you don't have that um botanical reflection filled out but yours is done make sure I get that today sometimes I come through with fingerprints too I like the fake blood more than the makeup because it uh, mm -hmm. it thins out and blends in better. Mm -hmm. it's wow. a little... And I'll show you, I have some more blood than this, but I we have some other kind of gross blood too. It's nice to see. I have a little on the ear, right? Because it's close to my ear. What's the odds it's going to only stay in this one spot, right? Um, this stuff is like My suggestion to you the day that you do this either do it on somebody else that wants to have it on all day Or you need to have it or have to want it on all day because if you try to take this off Like now to go about the rest of your day You're just gonna look stupid because this blood is gonna sort of stink Like if I just try to wash this off with regular It after the burn my arm yeah. was red for like three days so just throwing that out there, like put it somewhere that isn't a big deal or put it on someone else or don't intend to take it off that day. That's why, yes, this is staying on all day. Okay. Okay. All right. You do you.